with Singer, a lot of times people get very specific on their sewing machines too. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I work with a sewing machine brand. I understand mm -hmm. it, but I love machines. So I, ha I own like 50 of them. Oh um, my gosh, stop. You own? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like it's a it's a it's a bit of a problem. Okay, it is. Do you have a really big house for them all? No, my house is under a thousand square feet. Oh my god! Do I have some hidden in my dining room and like behind my couch? I do. That you know, I do. You're owning I it. I feel I like this isn't a side of you we haven't seen on your social media though. You so on. I've shared it more on my TikTok. Oh, okay. Okay. Here. But so TikTok is more appropriate for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I was there, like, I would go through, like, because I, I love vintage machines. So when I started oh, sewing, yeah. I I started on a box store machine. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think I made two projects on it before it jammed and just never worked for mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. at all. And I was like, oh, well, I just can't like sewing. This is just not going to work. So this was before, like, 2016. Mm -hmm. But then I found vintage. Mm -hmm. And I think it was shopgoodwill.com. And that's, I bought a machine. It was... Um, I call it Monty. It is a Montgomery Ward um, straight oh. stitch with a 1.5 amp motor. Nice. And we, when I tell you that's one of my favorite machines to this day. Really? And I have fancy stuff, but that's one of my favorite machines. Mm -hmm. And But then I realized that machines have different personalities. And yep. I had to test them to figure out which one I wanted. Mm -hmm. Hence, I decided to buy them. <laughs> and things grew. Now, some of them I buy to give away. Um, just so like for people who are interested in learning to sew and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think my oldest is like 1880s. Wow. So cool. 2021, 2022. Uh -huh. so, yeah. And, and I love the vintage ones and, you know, I have some that just sit, they're just decoration, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're just for me to like look over and admire and dust once a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're just That's for okay. aesthetics, you know. Uh, yeah. I have one of the old one, uh, singers that, like, you hand crank. There's, mm -hmm. It's not even a pedal. It's a hand crank. Um, but, I mean, I, I'm i not going to sew on it. I just, it's just pretty to look at. And then I have some others that I still have, like, my first sewing machine that I sewed on. And I have, mm -hmm. um, I've gifted some of my older ones that I no longer use to people who wanted to learn to sew and just didn't have mm -hmm. like the means. So I'm like, Oh, yeah, well, let me just clean it up for you and get it all going. It works great. Here you go. I got my use out of it. And, you know, so I like you, I just want to be able to give back, but I, I have thought about going down that Avenue, of <laughs> collecting really unique machines. I almost bought one recently at a store, a repurposed craft store here in Nashville. It? And it was a Kenmore, but it was pink. Oh it yeah. Was pink and it was in the original board. table and everything i just i i don't really have a room for like the table and all of that yeah. i really just wanted the machine you make room i know okay she, she just made well me. i i did not get it i really should have but <laughs> i left it behind it's i don't know if it's still there or not it's been a, a month or so but if it's pink no it's it not. may not be. I just, I, I feel like that store, people just don't even realize what it is. Right, right. And so that's why it might could still be sitting there. But um, yesterday I found uh, an industrial machine off Facebook Marketplace. I did not let that. I did not really? slip. So I did not sleep on that one because um, I've really been wanting one of those. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't get the Kimmore. I'm like, well, that could take up space for the machine I actually would like to use and have because mm -hmm. I too don't have a very big house. And now and she so, made room. Well, we're going to make, we're going to rearrange some things to make room. Yeah. <laughs> Move mean, some people out. out. It's fine. I have a, I have an industrial over in this nice. corner here. Ooh, and okay. I like the orange on that. That's super cool. Well, so this is a company called Vivor. So I, it, I've heard it of it. Me of like a like a more in depth Harbor Freight, yep. and um, but this machine itself is like so it's like a um, badged eighty seven hundred like Juki DDL eighty mm -hmm. seven hundred, hmm. um, and they also sell this in like in a red colorway under the name Two Lions. So a lot of people like in Africa have these. Oh. So I looked at videos before I bought it, yeah, um, and I saw how much this website was selling it for, but then I saw it on eBay. Oh yeah, cheaper, and then I. <laughs> I, like was watching it and then they gave me an offer for cheaper so i was like i have to buy it <laughs> and right i so what i also like yeah. to do is i want to make sure that i can find accessible things for people 
Mm -hmm. I think people think that when they see, especially the fancy machines, they think that they're all super, super expensive. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't have to have the fanciest thing to do your job. Because no. It really is about what you're able to do. The machine mm -hmm. just is putting the stitches together. As yeah. long as it has like a, either a straight zig a zigzag and maybe a buttonhole, you good. Yeah. Um, so, but I know like a lot of us, like the amount I sell, I was like, I need an industrial just would make things easier. Yeah. Um, and the pricing for this was about $400. And oh, I was that's like, I need to try that. So literally I tried it for my community. So yeah. um, on TikTok, I sew with a group called Black Sewing Network a lot. Mm -hmm. So it is a group of sewists. Um, and literally people are going live every day. That's so, awesome. Um, and on Sundays we do a large, uh, sew along. Um, and right now we just started a series where we're about to do all of the Nomi patterns for the summer release. Nice. Yeah. Um, they've had a lot stuff. of new patterns released this summer. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. so I think it was, I think there's 12 of them. So yeah, we're nice. all like, so I kicked it off with, um, sends of many Scorpios actually I have the packet here. So I made yes. this shirt yesterday with a uh, few nice. other sewists. And like, literally, I just kind of walked them through. We're on live for, I think it was like four or five hours, putting the shirt together from start to nice. finish. Wow. Um, and we do that. And it's just a way that we have built community um, yeah. in a authentic way. Like, literally, I, ca I we can call each other friends because we mm -hmm. are together. We're on live. And you can have a lot of time together, even if it is exactly. virtual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, like finding different ways to, to connect people with machines and finding machines that mm -hmm. is like accessible for people because, you know, yeah. Bernina, people think of pricing and they think everything is going to be so expensive and I do not have access to that. And, yeah. I, and I tell them my story. Like, so the Bernina behind me, so this one, mm -hmm. it is a 750 QE I got from Goodwill. Nice. That's so, a good find too. That's a really good find. I have two, actually, and then I also have a top of the line 830 Bernina Goodwill. So, what? Like, of, yeah. Okay. What okay. Goodwill are you Goodwill shopping? Goodwill is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't even find, I don't even find fabric or, or decent no. bench sheets at mine. <laughs> right? No, I don't either. I'm not going into the store. It's Shop Goodwill oh. that comes with like an auction site for Goodwill. See, I probably don't even have that in my country. Guaranteed. You might check. Yeah, you might. You might, you might I didn't even check. really know that was a th that yeah. could be dangerous. Hence why I have so many machines. Most of them <laughs> yeah. You know, um, Duana was a guest of ours a few months ago, and she too has a pretty extensive oh, yeah. vintage yes. sewing machine collection. And she's got hers all displayed on beautiful shelving oh, in yeah. her space. Good. And she's got like little small ones. She's got like all the different colors. That it was so pretty. That yeah. is what kind of made me want to like, maybe I should. She kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then I was like, oh, I really, I really shouldn't. <laughs> so I don't have my like prettily displayed. I do have some yeah. that are out, but literally I have shelves and stuff in my mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I currently have, so I have the three behind me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> 16, 17, 18. Oh my goodness. Within view of yeah. you right now. In my in my in my <laughs> room itself. That's why. Most of them like I have shelving. They are yeah. in spaces. Yeah. I have yeah. Some that are in other no. Oh. Like 20, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, uh, because I'm an educator with Singer, I have machines coming and going through my house all the time. And um, so I, too, have shelving, and they are mm -hmm. all lined up over here. Um, but after, like, I guess it was in June, mid-June, I got to the point where they were on the floor in here. They were on the floor in my sewing room. I was yeah, always, like, tripping over and, them, yeah. stubbing your toes. And I was always trying to find the one that I needed to use. And I think I, I got to where I had... 16 or 17 singer machines alone and that doesn't include any of my personal machines that i have yeah. and so i was like i i need to take some to the office <laughs> so i loaded up 11 sewing machines into my car it barely fit um and, and took them all to the office so before when i first started working with them you know we worked from home the whole time and mm -hmm. then so i only rarely went to the office so me grabbing what i could when i did it would just stay at my house but now that I go to the office a couple days every week, I don't necessarily need them all here because I, I know I'll be there mm -hmm. next week. If I need to get one, I can. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I just got purged. 
And so yeah, I yeah. purged a bunch that we're not even really doing stuff with anymore. And so I just, mm -hmm. and it's, it's been very nice. There's gotta be well, new stuff coming see, out anyways, right? Like, well, I've got, we've got several new machines coming out um, this year. And so I'm, I'm going to be getting those soon. So I'm already looking going, okay, well, if that one's coming, that one can go back. And like, <laughs> I just, I'm trying to get it down to where I just have maybe two or three shelves of machines at a time in here and they're not on the floor. <laughs> so, Wouldn't that be nice? I got yeah. them on the floor and I'm, I'm they just going to stay there for right they're now. They're just going to stay there. Yeah. And <laughs> you know, I mean, there are some I'm getting rid of. Like I, I know that they would do better in other people's homes. I've, I've yeah. had my wear out of them. Yeah. They're going away. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. And plus I like to see what other brands have. Like I, I find myself, Helping people find machines that's going to work for them. So if I know yeah. what you like, yeah. I can help find a machine for you. Mm -hmm. If I test these different machines out, I can mm -hmm. also help kind of troubleshoot what's going on. Yeah. I love doing that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of like one of those neat things that I find important to me is like to, to know machines, to know history of machines, mm -hmm. to, to really be able to know features and what's like yeah. and stuff like that. So, Do you find, like, I feel like you might be a little bit like me with like really kind of oh i don't know how to word this because we talked about it earlier i am a little uh obsessive about like people like taking care of their machines cleaning their yeah. machines and <laughs> I, I was gonna, i knew you're going there i kind of preach it i don't want to say i like shove it down your throat but you're gonna hear me kind of talk about it from time to time yes. because i don't feel like it's talked about enough and there's no. people running businesses and I've had the same machine for five years and has never had it serviced and barely cleans it out. I'm like, your machine is suffocating. Um, it barely so, changes the needle. How about I that? I know. I know. By the way, PSA, you should change your needle every six to eight hours of actual sewing. Change um, your needle like you change your drawers. That's what I said. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to put that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to also be a clip in our, that's got to be. Love it. I love it, yeah. but I feel like you might kind of because you uh, love and appreciate and and and, uh, and enjoy the, mm -hmm. the mechanisms that make a machine work. That you too probably are a little like me when you're like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you this machine, but I'm also gonna tell you how to take care of it." Absolutely, <laughs> you have to. it's a good idea to educate people until like you can learn your machine. You don't have mm -hmm. to always just take it to someone yeah. else. Like you could actually educate yourself and yeah. take care of your machine on a, another level. Well, it's Absolutely. like, you know, you get the tires balanced and rotated from time to time. You, sure. you get an oil change from time to time. But you can also change your own oil. But so you can do that, that yourself, you know? <laughs> so I'm just saying like, not going to, but I you can that my, when I bought my first car, I did not even know how to pop a hood. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> now machines, I can do all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. and it's, just, that. it's just, if you do the small maintenance along the way, it, it actually so pre better. it prevents the machine from having bigger issues that you won't be able to fix on your own, um, mm -hmm. and it'll make it last longer. You know, we, of we said in um, Trisha's episode, I made a comment of like, you know, when you come home from a long day, you take your bra off, you know, <laughs> you get comfortable. Your your machine wants to like be comfortable and breathe too. And let and loose, yes. Let loose, let yeah. let loose. So I just <laughs> I feel like it's just. Common just sense. doing live, like often. So part of that is like we show good habit keeping with machines. Yeah. So if I have other hosts who are not cleaning their machines or something like that, I'm like, did you clean it? Did you change a needle? Mm -hmm. We talk about needle sizing. We talk about nice. needle height. Yes. Like we like so all of those yes, types of things preach. that people do not think about often because they think yeah. that a universal needle is going to be for you. Every, I'm like, no, you can't. Yeah, do yeah, no, yeah, everything. No, <laughs> I hate that name. Thanks for watching this clip from the Social Hour podcast. Hang out with us every Tuesday where we chat with a new and amazing sewing guest. Also, if you enjoy our content, consider becoming a Patreon member to gain access to exclusive member-only content such as our Thirsty Thursday, where we have extended interviews and off-the-cuff conversations. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.